Really too loud, you know you're speaking. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. I'll call you back. Life at Sea, Transiting Gulf of Aden We are currently anchored in OPL Port Dixon in Malaysia because we were rejected from previous charterer. No one knows how and why we are rejected. After 12 hours in OPL anchorage, then suddenly, our company called and told us to proceed to sea in full speed. Our previous voyage from Singapore to Rastanura, Saudi Arabia, now it changes to going to Yanbu, Saudi Arabia. This is it, my most feared voyage. From Singapore to Saudi Arabia, the vessel will transit in high-risk area, then Gulf of Aden. Transiting inside the high-risk area, especially in Gulf of Aden, is not a joke. Plenty vessels are already hijacked since it started around 2007. Some of the ship owners pay the ransom from Somalia Pirate and they retrieve the vessel and the crew. Some of the ship owner don't claim their vessel so that the vessel and the crew stay in Somalia for almost a year. They said the longest captured vessel stay there for almost 5 years till now. Some of the shipping company of the vessel will be captured by Somalia Pirate. The salary of the crew will be stopped until the vessel will be retrieved by the ship owners. Some shipping company, if their vessel captured by Somalia Pirate and they still didn't pay the ransom, the salary of the crew will be doubled until the vessel will retrieved by the ship owner. Before, when the hijacking of the vessel in Gulf of Aden is hot, as per one of the government agency, the crew will have a high risk bonus depending on their basic wages. So, if you have a high basic wages, you will have a huge high risk bonus. Few years later, the agreement changed. You only have a bonus if you will chase by pirate or attack by pirate. Sounds interesting, right? Then the latest agreement is no more high risk bonus even you will transit, chase, capture by the Somalia pirate. Anyway, even with high risk bonus, that's nothing if you're being captured by Somalia pirates. Before our vessel will enter the UKMTO voluntary reporting point, our vessel is already ready. We already installed razor wires around the vessel, citadel is ready, portholes with metal covers, watertight doors with lock from inside. The only missing is the arm guards. Luckily, our company told us that we will pick up the arm guard in Galle OPL, which is in Sri Lanka. Four Greeks arm guard boarded our vessel with their weapons. After lunch, we had a meeting in crew mess hall. They introduced themselves. They are all special forces from Greece military. Their group leader is already working for 10 years as arm guard, protecting vessel from Somalia pirate. He explained everything to us on how and why are they on board. They told us that they are disposal of captain when captain said they will follow. They have four long rifles and 850 bullets. They told us that they only need 20 bullets to stop the Somali pirates hijacking our vessel. The photos and videos that I will show is given to me by the leader of the armed guards. He agrees to share all of this in my vlog. This is very important information to everybody so that everybody will be aware when transiting Gulf of Aden. This is how the uh, Somalia pirates damage the vessel by their AK-47 and RPGs.
this photo shown on how the ship owners pay the ransom from Somalia pirates. This photo shown when pirates on board in action.
this photo shown the pirate's weapon and tools.
This is photo collection of pirates already board the vessel and they already captured it. As per their group leader, they will start their duties when the vessel enters the 70 degrees east. As of now, the vessel enters the UKMT of Vessels Voluntary Reporting Point, which is the 78 east. It's still an ordinary day for the vessel, but we already posted lookout on the bridge to carefully look if there is a threat of piracy. 16th December 2018 at 1700 local time. The armed guards gather in the bridge and prepare their weapons. They are going to test fire their weapons. Here is the actual video of live firing of the armed guards. Seventeen December 2018 at 0100 local time. Vessel already entered 70 degrees east. Armed guards already start their watch on the bridge.
we are still far from high risk area which is the 65 degrees east but the team leader told us that it's better be early than late or never when we encounter a target from arpa without an ais and not moving we are reporting it to the duty armed guards immediately i as oow of the bridge i always alter my course big enough to have big cpa from unknown target armed guards left a copy of photo of yemen and somalia do and skiff for us to easily recognize Nineteenth December 2018 at 2:359 local time. Vessel already entered high risk area, 65 degrees east. Now the vessel is already alert on every doe or skip approaching us. My watch is 0400 to 0800 local time. As I almost experienced boarded by Somalia pirate, I prefer to be alert and strict in my lookout on my watch. Around 0600 local time and still dark. One of the armed guard posted on the bridge wing alert me that he found something near starboard side lifeboat walking. We point out our flashlight to see who the hell is that. Then I remember that in that time, Messman is throwing garbage. I called immediately the galley to confirm and he said yes. He was the one who went out. I told him that this is already discussed in the meeting with armed guards. If you will go out and still dark, call us at the bridge so that we will know it's not a pirate walking on deck when it's still dark outside. We almost alert everybody or sound the general alarm because of you. 22 December 2018 at 0742 local time. Vessel entered 58 degrees east which is the corridor B of the IRTC International Recommended Transit Corridor. The corridor is composed of 490 miles the north part of the IRTC is going to Red Sea and the south part will going to Arabian Sea. This is where the fun begins for the Somalia pirate because this is their territory to hijack the vessel. We are streaker in lookout. Me together with my lookout AB and OS and arm guard at the bridge. Every target in the radar we observe and monitor of piracy attack. You can hear every hour the warship patrolling the area in channel 16 VHF. We have three VHF on the bridge. First is the VHF standby on channel 16 for international vessel communication. Number two, VHF is standby on channel 68 for the armed guard purposes. And the third VHF is standby in channel 08 for warship purposes. Here is an example of a warship patrolling the IRTC communicating of one of the merchant vessels along the area. This is Korea warship 981. This is combined daily maritime forces warship 170 degree 7 miles critical mass of your from relative position. Warships are always monitoring Bridge 2 Bridge Channel 1 Shift. Have you observed any suspicious or illegal activity recently over? 
No, recently everything is okay. The situation is suitable and good. We have already secu three secu army security guards, guards on board, and the vessel is proceeding to Suez Canal. Thank you for your cooperation. Channel change one six over. Thank you very much. Back to one six. 23 December 2018 at 2050 local time. We already cleared the point A corridor of IRTC. Now we are transiting in recommended security corridor. Warship still patrolling in this area. Luckily, we transit in this area at night time. Here is the video of a Japanese warship asking some question in a vessel passing in this area. Information for you, Oba. Yes, go ahead. Okay, thank you. A question. Are you aware that the internationality and also best management practice, BMP, to protect yourself from pirate threat? Over. Uh, can you please repeat your question? Please repeat your question. Roger, I say again. Are you aware that the internationality and also best management practice, BMP, to protect yourself from pirate threat over. Yes, correct. All information regarding IBMP are rigged or. This is Japan Wash, brother. Yes, that is correct. Next question. Uh, do you know Sokotra area? Sokotra area is dangerous and is over high piracy threat over. Yes, correct. We know that Sokotra area is dangerous and will keep well clear of Sokotra island. Over. This is Japan Watch Bandera 7. Okay, thank you for your cooperation. Combined Maritime Forces 162 are constantly monitoring channel 162. If you observe any suspicious or illegal activity and require any assistance, please call us to the nearest watch point channel 161. Okay, copy. If we observe any suspicious object or any suspicious activities, we will let you know. Back to 16. Thank you for your cooperation. Back to 16. Have a good watch. Out of. During our watch, I asked armed guards if there is some time that the vessel with armed guard attacks by Somalia pirates. Because what I know, if the armed guards raises their rifle to approaching pirate, the pirate will go away. He told me that, yes, there is one time that even the vessel with armed guards, they still attack the vessel. But it's a different story. The armed guard is actually not at arm, so it's only a guard. In summary, the three guards jump into the water and escape by the military helicopter. They left the vessel and the crew with Somali pirates on board. He told me to watch the documentary video and photo, then give my opinion to him. On the other day, I talk to the armed guards and tell my opinion. The three security guards on board the vessel, they prefer the vessel for security purposes while passing Gulf of Aden. They follow everything, but because they don't have weapons, the Somalia pirate boarded the vessel with no harm. The security guards try to fight, but because they don't have weapons, they cannot fight actually. They hide themselves. They were hiding on the Monkey Island. The military helicopter approached the vessel, but can't do anything because the crew is already hostage. When they had the opportunity to escape, they jump overboard and pick up by the military helicopter and flew away. On the documentary video, they show how brave they were to fight the pirate without weapons and tell the story to everybody. They were just like a hero in a video, but for the eyes of the seafarers like me, they were assholes. They escape and live happily ever after. But what about the crew of the empty Piscaglia? Where are they? Are they safe? Are they secured? Do they have the opportunity to escape the pirate? How long they stay in the hands of the pirate? Are they still alive? That's the one question running to my mind after I watch a documentary video. Nobody knows what's happened to the crew in the video. 24 December 2018, around 0500 local time in the morning. We enter the Bab El Mandeb TSS. This area is much more dangerous than IRTC and RSC because it's just like a bottleneck. 
vessel cannot do maneuvering to escape or make a huge turn of the vessel because the area has less water. I remember when we transit in this area around 2007 or 2008, we came from Suez Canal and going south. One skip approached us and stay ahead of us. Then the other two appears quickly and stay to our astern. They were hiding in buffer point. The skiff maximum speed was 25 knots with two outboard engines. Every skiff had four to five person. We call the warship and then the warship replies to assist us. They immediately go away. As you can see in the video, there are some pirates activities on the area in the Strait of Bab El Mandeb. Around 18.30 local time, vessel is already clear from HRA area which is the 15 degrees north. Arm guards stop their watch on the bridge. Vessel is safe now. We can sleep without fear now. Everyone is happy. Everybody are now preparing for Nochebuena to celebrate Christmas. 25 December 2018 Christmas Day around 0800 local time Our vessel approached the Trinity London to disembark the armed guards Trinity London is a floating armory for the armed guards Armed guards wait inside the Trinity London for the next vessel who need their assistance while passing HRA Maybe next time when we finish loading in Yandu, Saudi Arabia and proceed to Singapore to discharge the cargo. I hope that the same armed guard will board again the vessel came from Trinity, London. dangerous to pass the Gulf of Aden or the RITC from point A to B or vice versa. And if you like this vlog, kindly like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook page. The name is The Seaman Vlogger. Okay, that's it. I'm finished. Um, this is the longest vlog I ever made. Almost one hour. Um, anyway, thank you very much. See you on my next vlog.